Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Lost World. Actually welcome back rather because well we're gonna be playing this game once more but for, for a DLC thing so yeah <laughs> we're back to playing this game. For those of you who don't know I let's play this game uh, just about a month ago and yeah look at this Yoshi's Island is now in Sonic Lost World. This is uh, I believe Yoshi's 3D Island that uh, is for uh, the Nintendo 3DS. It still isn't out, but I guess they're promoting it by having DLC for Sonic Lost World. So I'm gonna play it for you guys because for those of you who don't know, I love Yoshi's Island. Like, I love it so much. So yeah, having it in Sonic as a zone, I'm pretty excited to play this. Well, look at this, okay. This looks really cool. I think it's only gonna be in 2D because, well, it's so Yoshi's Island type level, so. Yeah, and I don't even know the controls anymore. I'm clicking Y to run. You don't click Y to run in this game. You don't. I believe you click, yeah, you click, um, ZR. For some reason I'm thinking of the Mario 3D World mechanics. I don't know why, but look at this place. It looks like it's all knitted in and stuff, and I love it. Um, oh, we already have enough eggs. I wonder what this small circles under Sonic's life meter is, or... Uh, yeah, his lives. I have no idea what that is, but okay. So, let's let's see how to move. Okay, so you can't do the homing missile on the shy guys, but... Wow, does this look awesome? Oh, we get to collect... Okay, so we get to collect these, um... These flowers, yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, actually, let's play Yoshi's Island, the original one. Uh, I played it on the Game Boy Advance, which was the remake. Not necessarily remake, but it was like a port from the SNES. But yeah, I'm really excited to play this and share it with you guys because, like I said, I love Yoshi's Island and I'm really excited for the Yoshi 3D Island game that will be coming out on the 3DS uh, later next year. So yeah, this is going to be really fun. Um, I do like the graphics a lot. I really hope this is how Yoshi 3D Island looks like, you know, with this type. Obviously, this is going to be on the 3DS, so it won't be nearly as good, but if it's similar, I'm fine with it. I mean... Granted, I prefer the Yoshi Island uh, original graphics. I'm actually gonna try to collect all of these, by the way. Like, but this reminds me a lot of uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, I believe. But I mean, it's not bad. It's still a nice change, and uh, I mean, no matter what, Yoshi's Island has always been really artistic when it comes to its graphics and stuff. And I think that's why I loved about it the most. Like when I was younger, it was just amazing to see how cool Yoshi's Island looked and stuff. But yeah, um, kind of looks like. Behind us is like jeans, those look like pockets that would be on jeans and stuff. I really like it though, and I like how the, you know, water is moving in the background. It looks like, um, it's, uh, you know, cool. That's what, it, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I just woke up. Actually, I didn't watch Nintendo Direct Live, because this actually, uh, was downloadable after, I believe, Nintendo Direct, because I think they announced it then, and, oh, it was a war pipe. But, um... Yeah, I watched that, and they have a lot of cool announcements. I mean, granted, Nintendo hasn't been that supportive to Let's Players as of recent, with all of the things going on with YouTube and stuff, but I still enjoy their content, nevertheless, and uh, I'm really excited for the new games that are in store, uh, hopefully next year. Kind of like Hylian Heroes, or Hylian Warriors, rather. Looks like Dynasty Warriors, but for Legend of Zelda, and... Yeah, that looks really awesome. I think that's the one game I'm really excited for. That in Yoshi's Island for the 3DS that is, you know, based off of this, of course. Or, the stage is based off of Yoshi's Island 3. So, yeah, I'm really excited for those two games coming up next year. I'm still kind of waiting for a new 3D um, Zelda game for the Wii U as well. I mean, they even said that the Hylian Warriors isn't going to be the 3D Zelda game for... Um, for the Wii U, of course, because it's just like some second installment for something. I don't know. It's kind of like a Mario Party, I guess, for Legend of Zelda, which is cool because Nintendo finally got something like that. Like, they only had main games. It's like its first uh, non-main game release that they're going to do. Aside from Tingle's Rupee Land or whatever that game was called. I never actually got to play. I just heard about it. Um, I'm actually going to look for the final... Uh, Flower because I kind of won. I think it's actually in here because I don't think I've entered this. Yes, okay. So, where this is going to take us? Uh, to another like secret mini game area. So, I'm kind of upset that we can't home attack these shy guys because that would have been cool. But whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and jump up like this. And hey, look, it's there. Alright, we did it. I believe that's all we need to get. So, these replace the uh, red coins that were in the stage. And 
Yeah, it's rather short, honestly, like this level, because I'm pretty sure we're done since we have all of the flowers, but it was still fun nevertheless, and the music really makes up for it. For those of you who don't know, I love video game music. I actually love music in general. It's the main part of my life, and yeah, um, listening to this Yoshi's Island music is really nostalgic and just nice, and seeing it in a Sonic world is weird as well. And I'm sorry if I sound like I have a cold or something. I think I'm actually coming off of a cold, like... I don't know, I've been feeling sick recently, and, and I really hope that didn't stick with me. And I realize you actually have to collect coins, not rings, uh, to live. Oh, did you see that? I sniped him. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more eggs before we make it to the end. And then we'll pass on these eggs to the next Yoshi, Sonic, because there's multiple Sonics right now, not really. But there we go, we did it. Oh, look at these Yoshis. Oh, they were inside the uh, eggs. So we saved them. Oh, that's so cool. And there we go, Yoshi's Island Zone has been cleared. We collected everything we need to collect, and we got some lives. This is a really easy place to actually grind lives off of, with it being so short, and just having to collect Yoshi's Egg to get uh, a bunch of lives, which I find pretty cool. Sadly, you only can hold up to three. At least I only had three by the end of the stage, even though I spammed uh, the A button. And wait a second. What, the zone will reappear after every 100,000 points? What? Okay. Okay. Well, that sucks, so I can't play it again. <laughs> okay, well, good thing I recorded it so I can watch myself play it or somehow try to get 100,000 points again. Anyways, um, thank you all very much for watching this. I'm, I apologize it's been really short, but I just thought I'd show it off because I love Yoshi's Island and I let's play this game, so why not show off some DLC? I believe there's more DLC to this game. I don't know. Maybe I was too late on uh, downloading it because I think it's just up for a short period of time, so... Yeah, um, if you want to see more DLC that might be available, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, short video of Sonic Lost World. And yeah, I've been Zelda Master, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, adios.